If these walls could talk, they would share all the secrets. And most of them you don't even want to know. Keep watching to find out what book we're talking about today. Hey, it's Kyla Denanyo and you're watching Kyla's Reading Day. So today we're talking about the book, The Summer Place. This book was written by Jennifer Weiner. The genre of the book is fiction. The theme of the book is literature. This one's gonna have a lot more spoilers than usual because we gotta do a family tree. So, Ronnie and her husband, they have some twins, Sarah and Sam. Sarah gets married to Eli. They have two boys, but Eli already has a daughter, Ruby. Ruby's mom, Annette, is gone. She just, she don't wanna be a mama. They let her free. So then you have Sam. Sam is a little sweetie. He ends up with Julie. Julie has a son. This is the plot twist to end all plot twists. The book is about the house. I should have known the prologue talks about the house and how it creaks and how it settles. I should have known. So you're reading the book and you're just like, oh, oh my goodness, look at their life. Oh wow, oh my gosh. And then at the end when they talk about someone's dirt and ashes fall into the crevices of the house and the house is like, oh, you're back. Oh, to give emotion to inanimate objects. And I should have known the summer place. It's a place, it's a house, it's a, a dwelling, it's a unit, it's an inanimate object. I'm reading it and I'm like, wow, you know, she's feeling like the house is a, a friend. She walks around, she's talking to the wall, she's doing this. No, child, the, the house is recounting the stories of everything that's been happening of all the people who lived in the house and their lives. There's such a story to their lives. You know, I'm reading the book and I'm, I'm rooting for Sarah and I'm like, the grandparents don't understand. You got your kids and all these activities. They just don't get it. But Sam is the breakout star. Sam needs his own book. Jennifer Weiner, please give us another book about Sam. Sam is the man. So it was really important that the story is about the house and all the memories the house has seen and how it's been full of people, it hasn't been full of people and the, the different dynamics of the house. That was, that was really telling, it was really sweet, right? I'm sitting in my first house ever filming and I'm thinking like, oh, what happened when someone lived here before? And were the walls painted this color? You know what I mean? So um, that's a really cool dynamic that the book was actually about all of the memories that have happened within the house, right? So would I reread this book? <sighs> no, because I can't, I cannot, I would never forget Sam's. Sam is written on my heart. And let me know, have you read anything by Jennifer Weiner? I would be surprised if you have not. She is an absolute rock star. She has written multiple, multiple, multiple books. Look, she always has great covers and you know I'm a sucker for a cover. I've read, I've seen the movie in her shoes. I read Mrs. Everything, which was really good about sisters. Oh, Big Summer, excellent. I should, I should do a review on Big Summer. So yeah, that was today's review of The Summer Place. Really great storytelling, really great character development. So I will see you next time.